Well guys, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. Today, we're looking for bait. Deja vu. Last night, there was a big storm. It was supposed to be storms all weekend, unfortunately. It's Fourth of July weekend. And uh, maybe this big storm last night, I don't know, stirred up the bait, did something funny. Or maybe it's just too early and they hadn't come to the surface yet. We ain't heard no good reports, but uh, we're still looking. We ran out here to some wrecks offshore, see if we can find some bait. We've got some fish on, but I don't see any bait marking. I think it will sea bass. Catch of the day. And so, since bait's hard to come by today, apparently it was pretty thick yesterday afternoon. But uh, I guess that's the nature of bait. Storms come, push them off, they disappear. You never know. So I'm gonna rig up some artificial plugs. See if we can't catch fish that way. Should be able to, I don't see why not, right? It's a good looking, good looking plug. I would buy them if I was a fish, wouldn't you? Oh geez, I wonder what it could be. Be interesting to see what it is though. Taking a little snack break. And the fish bit. Well, what we got there, Captain? And it's a uh, kingfish. Kingfish? Yep. and another boat way over there and now there's us and three boats right here and still way over there uh, so yeah that's good I got some kingfish got them on artificial a couple good things about artificial is uh, one you can always have it you know bring a pack of plugs and you, know, you don't have to worry about not having any bait two you get a troll faster so you kind of get to cover more ground and um, Three, you get to put more pressure on the fish. These plugs have bigger hooks, so I'm using heavier drags. So uh, after they make the run, they're still gonna run. Then you can, you know, put a little more heat on them and fight them up. So that's nice. Of course, that might be why you had a little more spunk when I brought that fish on board. What's up, Captain? That was a nice fish, man. You get one? Pop the, pop the uh, stinger hook. Dang. Good, good, good. We, we were worried the shark was going to get him, so we tightened the drag up and uh, nice, him off. Nice king. He fought him for a long time with pretty heavy drag. Nice king fish. Hey, Kayla. Hey. You got any in the boat yet? Yeah. All right. There you go. Yeah, we're too heavy for you. Yeah. That's, that's good. Ready? Yeah. I got you. All right, back out. Yeah. Got it. Appreciate it, Chris. All right, guys, uh, out here at uh, PM. And uh, thankfully, Chris on Hot Pursuit, you've seen him fish with us before. Uh, he found some bait up north. He went south and he went north. He got some bait and uh, he gave us some nice pogies. Uh, we really appreciate it. If you can ever help someone out, you know, be sure to, to do that. They'll so appreciate that out in the water. So we got some pogies. We did catch a blue runner on uh, on the sabiki. So we're gonna put that out. And we did already have one kingfish on our artificial bomber lure. Always bring those artificials as a backup. Yeah, artificials and, and dead bait, good backups to have. So historically, it seems like 4th of July has been a pretty good fishing trip. You know? Uh, we've got, that's where we got our biggest fish right now. We had the one time we went out there in the southeast hole and uh, we had that really big one on and all of a sudden three others hit, cut the big one off 
we ended up losing two others, but the one you pulled in was still really big, a mid 30s to 40. So there were a bunch of big ones that day around. We were at school of big boys, fatties. Yeah. Turn turn towards the fish, uh, you know. I guess the clicker wasn't on. Take that, I'll get that. It's got a knob, so you gotta. Yeah, I looked up there and that thing was peeling out, so I tried to break it the gas or pressure on it a little bit. Hey, careful, Dad. I got a line way up here. Tangle with me. Okay, hold on. I think you gotta come uh, under me. All right. Okay. Get that way. Yeah. There you go. You getting close? Yeah. I think it's a good fish. I mean, he really had a hard bend on it. Kind of amazed he's still on. Uh, kind of got a little slack in it. Oh, there he is. Good fish? Yeah, he's like pretty good. Uh, pretty sweet. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's a nice fish. Look at my wrist. Oh, nice fish. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, Eddie. That's a good fish there. Fourth of July special here. Yeah. The thing we got it up for that knot got it in. Nice fish, that death roll. Yeah. What are doing right now? Just gonna get him. Right. Take your time. Oh, nice fish. There you go. There we go. That's a bad one. Oh yeah. Fourth of July special. That's it. <laughs> we caught our second fish and I was washing down the blood and stuff, uh, bloody gaff shot, and cleaning it off, and I was like, is there a fish on? And, and the one in the out, you know, the side rod holder. He didn't have the clicker on, he was, was taking line, yeah. he didn't have a clicker on it. I think I forgot to put the clicker back on, I'm sure I forgot to put the clicker back on, so he was taking line and running, we weren't sure how far he ran, but um, he got a good ways, and uh, we're looping around, and we get a little tangle, a little red line gets in our way, and it was like slack, I'm trying to catch up. I, I thought we lost them for a minute because it felt really loose. I just kept reeling fast, 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 and get them up, and we see it's, it's a good kingfish, so. <laughs> Biggest one of the year, and uh, it's pretty nice, real fat, um, probably in the 20s, so that's, that's pretty cool. Okay, guys, this is the blue runner. The big blue runner we caught. It's gonna be interesting to see what he is. going. Might be the shark of all times, huh? <laughs> we don't know what we got, guys, but he's got to be big. Eat the size bait we put on there. It's a solid fish, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I haven't hardly gained anything. A lot of people say, why do I leave the clicker on? Good question. You don't have to, but reason being is it's a good communication tool for the driver whoever's driving if I'm back there my dad's fighting the fish if I hear it take off I'll know it I'll know if the, yeah if the fish is making another run or if it's taking short runs kind of kind of tells me if it's quiet well they can't hear that and sometimes the angler if it's a new angler or whatever doesn't communicate that well so it's just easier sometimes to leave it on or whatever you prefer. So when fighting a fish, it's not jerking. And when I come down, I reel it down. So I still got a bend. And I lift it up. And reel it down. I'm not getting much on this one. And I'm concerned kingfish would be nice or a big cobia something like that but uh, a big shark could have also eaten this blue runner it's a big shark I don't stand much of a chance with just 20 pound line bringing them in we got uh, we don't have any water coming from our pump is the bait okay I don't see the bill from working either it's weird our build drums don't working guys, but hey, <laughs> who needs the builds? 
He seems to be high, so that's a hopefully a good sign. I think I'm keeping the sharks off, everybody. There he goes. Bit through. You say neither bilge was. I mean, there ain't no water in there, but you get it running. I hear something running. Turn that, turn that one back to the other bill. Well, big baits definitely hook big fish, and we hooked a big one on that blue runner. I think it was a big shark. And just on that little line, I don't have any chance of catching them. So once we figured that's what it was, we broke it off. Ended that relationship, bad relationship, broke it off. So we got one live well pump working, that's good. We were in a pinch. Yeah, all, you said it's not pumping water. Right, both live well pumps are on. Only one's pumping water. Our, our, our primary bilge pump is not working, but our secondary is. The motor wasn't even working? The motor wasn't even working on the primary bilge. So that's why you have a backup. And what we did in a pinch was we took our saltwater wash down hose and stuck it in the live well to put some water in there, and that helped. Watch this one up. Uh... Yeah. Jim. Good fish, I think. You made a pretty good run. Yeah, that's a good fish. Uh, that's, that's like one of those fat king fish there. I think maybe shark or not. I don't know. I hope not. Anything else but give a little. You break? Yeah, I found a couple bumps. Oh, look at that. I don't know if the kingfish had it and the shark came and took him. There was one point where it felt like he was charging me. Maybe that's where the shark came and got it. I don't know. Alrighty, fish on. This one seems less sharkish. Uh, at least less big shark. Maybe a little shark. like a jump from like a sailfish or something. You got that boy clean that just in time, but it's a little bit more. Yeah. He's still going up. Dang. Maybe it's a wahoo. A wahoo would be nice. Hey, this is... Yep. Yeah. See him? Uh, I saw him briefly. I kind of tugged back to Might be the fish of the day. It's definitely kingfish the way he brushes it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, big, big, there he is. A little bit. Close. That was that for you. There you go. Wow, look at that. Ooh, nice fatty you there. Yeah. You got the two biggest for sure today. How about taking you out? There's a good job there, Jeremy. Those big boys right at the end. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Had a good day. Um, 
Thanks to Chris and Hot Pursuit, helped us uh, get some bait, gave us some bait. That's right, it had been a long day probably without it. Yeah, it was still cool catching the one on the artificial. You know, it's good to have those plugs. I think we could have caught more, but um, getting live bait was definitely nice. And yeah. we had some biggest, some some of the biggest fish of the year. Well, that's the biggest fish of the year, both of them, or two of them. Mm -hmm. Two of them today, really nice king, so that was cool. Had some big sharks on, I think that, uh, you know, kind of work does can't do much with 20 pound tackle. But, yeah, because that each one of them took up what 35 40 minutes of our time. Yeah, so we went, finally broke that one off and right so oh. overcame some live well issues. Yeah, yeah, we got to figure out what the deal is with that because not only that, but our bilge pump, our main build, bilge pump, wasn't yeah. working either, was it? No, yeah, so we have to look at the live well pumps and then our main bilge. I'm wondering if I got those both on the same ground and might have a ground issue or something, you know? Yeah, but um. Yeah, overall it was a great day. Mm -hmm. Slick Watching. and not much wind. That's right. It hot. hot. The hot pursuit was not the only thing hot out here today. I can assure you that. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, it was. Uh, it was hot. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna get these. Uh, we have two more lines, and we. I like to leave them out until we're absolutely done. Yeah. So I pull those in, and uh, we're ready to go back home. Yeah. 12, 23, is that hour difference on that clock? Yeah, beat the storms in. There you go. It's starting to build, so. Oh, yeah. We'll yeah. see you guys on the next video.